antibody test simply measure IgG antibody in a blood sample and this could be a finger prick for uh, a rapid test or it could be venous blood which is then taken for something called an ELISA test. They look at fundamentally different things. Antibody tests look for the body's response to an infection. When you get infected by a virus or any other pathogen, your body reacts to it and produces antibodies. That is what you measure in an antibody response. In PCR, you are directly measuring the gen genetic material of uh, the organism, of the pathogen. So one measures response to pathogen, other measures pathogen directly. It is variable, depends upon the infection, but it usually takes somewhere around two to three weeks for a good antibody response to come. And that is also what we are seeing in the SARS coronavirus 2 case, in the COVID case, that about, uh, you know, day seven or day 10 post, in, post symptoms, you see a reasonable uh, IgG response or IgM response come up. Antibody tests can only be used for diagnosing those people who already show symptoms. But a negative antibody test does not mean that you don't have it. PCR is a more conclusive test. An antibody test will also miss anything that happens early. So people who are in early phase of the disease, who don't show symptoms or who have shown symptoms only for just a day or two uh, will be missed by antibody tests. So while PCR is being used as a diagnostic, antibody tests that are being proposed are going to be used more for population screening because there is also now a need to know how many people are actually infected by this virus in a population and unless you know that you cannot really uh, put good public health mitigation measures to uh, to control this infection icmr also says that these tests are not recommended for diagnosis of COVID-19. That is correct too. I have looked at two studies that look at the appearance of antibodies and appearance of PCR positive virus samples as a function of disease these two studies come from one comes from the european union which includes 10 patients of covid-19 plus many other related coronavirus infections uh, in the past the second study is a larger study which comes from china which includes 65 patients the results from these studies say that PCR is positive in nasopharyngeal swabs from day 0 to day 14 and we are measuring this from the time of onset of symptoms Be because before symptoms you don't know who is infected who is not. So most of the testing is being done on patients after symptoms appears. So to backtrack, nasopharyngeal swabs are positive for PCR between day 0 and day 14. Sputum is positive between day 0 and day 33 and stool is positive between day 0 and day 20. Now there are a few caveats to this. Firstly, there is not as much virus being passed out in stool, so although stool 
continues to be a source of infection, the load of virus is much higher in nasopharyngeal swabs and in sputum. This also means that once somebody becomes negative for PCR in their nasopharyngeal swabs, they are still positive in sputum, which means that sputum can continue to be a source of infection. Now, if you look at the antibody responses, you find that the IgM response is a strong response that comes around day 7 post uh, symptoms and this lasts till about day 45 post symptoms. The IgG response appears around day 10 post symptoms and continues till about day 50, 50 and that was the point at which they terminated measurements. I mean, the understanding is that IgG would continue much longer. So IgM does not continue. It's a transient response. IgG is a more persistent response, uh, lasts longer. These studies have also shown that people who have severe symptoms also produce higher titers of virus, meaning stronger PCR positivity, and they also show higher antibody responses compared to, to people who have mild infection.